Hi guys, it's Peter here from podwellmonkey.com. I have here today the MSI Wind U115 Hybrid. Uh, the first netbook to come with a hybrid storage system. That is, it has a <clears throat> two storage devices in here, a solid state disk and a hard disk drive. Now what that what's so good about that is that uh, you can uh, turn off the hard disk drive and get more battery life, run everything from the solid state disk. This was just released in the UK and Japan a couple of weeks ago and just very recently in the US. It cost $500 which is a, a little bit expensive for a netbook, maybe $100, just over $100 more than the uh, average price netbook. But uh, I think it's well worth it for uh, if you need a lot of battery life because this netbook has uh, the most battery life you'll get on a netbook with a six cell battery. Uh, in the US it comes with a nine cell battery so you can expect much more battery life which um, I'll talk about in a moment. First the pros. It's got an excellent keyboard. This is one of my favorite keyboards on a netbook. Full width. There's no wasted space on the sides. Crammed right to the edge. Um, little to no flex at all. And a full uh, Right shift key, full size right shift key and backspace key. You won't be able to see it on this Japanese model though. The only minor complaint I have is the misplaced function and control keys here. Next, the display. It's very bright, uh, brighter than the Asus EPC 1000HE at the brightest setting. Only by a little bit though. And the only minor complaint, oh, oh the it's matte, it's matte. So it's uh, good for outdoors, unlike a glossy display. And the only minor complaint I have is at the lowest brightness setting as you can see right now it's a bit too bright in a pitch dark room so if you're using this before bed with the lights turned off it can be a bit uh, too bright for the eyes next uh, 720p video I'll just show you that on AC power you can run uh, 720p video very smoothly with uh, right off the bat without installing Core ABC codec or Media Player Classic Home Cinema Edition. So right now I'm plugged into AC power and here's a 720p video. So it plays very smoothly. I'll just show you CPU usage. So the CPU usage jumps up and down, but on average, maybe 30, 30 to 50% on average. Okay, close to that. Uh, okay, uh, if you try to run a video of battery power, it's a bit uh, sluggish, there's missing frames, so um, I would recommend installing the Core ABC codec, codec along with the Media Player Classic Home Cinema Edition. Anyway. Okay, next. Okay, let's put that, put, put, put that up to full brightness. Okay, it's very quiet and cool. Even after running benchmark tests for 10 plus hours, the bottom stays very cool. And noise, I should say lack of noise, it's uh, extremely quiet. Um, I have no complaints there. I'm very fussy about noise, but uh, I can barely uh, notice the noise on this. Okay, um, now I'll talk about the uh, battery life. Uh, thanks to the hybrid storage system. Uh, if you have echo mode on, which uh, that turns off the hard disk drive, I'll just show you that right now. Function F uh, 10. Okay, I'm initiating echo mode and it's asking me if I want to turn off the hard disk drive, so I'll choose yes. Okay, oh, I can't actually do that right now because I'm running the movie off the hard disk drive, so I'll close that. 
Okay, I'll try that again. Okay, wait. Okay, so it's asking me again. Yes, turn off the hard drive, please. Okay, it's not working again. I think because I have this program open here, let's close that. Let's try it again. Echo mode, please. Yes, turn off the hard drive. Okay, yes, so you can see right down here, it's turned off the hard drive. And the hard drive is turned off. You can see the little icon here, down in the corner. So now I have uh, echo mode on, and the hard drive is off. In that state, I can get 10 hours. That's uh, web browsing and watching a lot of YouTube videos at 50% uh, brightness and Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth off. Um, if I have uh, echo mode off, I can get around 7 hours. So, with the echo mode on, you can probably gain about 2 to 3 hours. Anyway, 10 hours battery life, that's the most uh, battery life you'll get on a netbook with a 6 cell battery. And in the US you have a 9 cell battery, so expect even more battery life, maybe 13 hours. Okay, now uh, the cons. Uh, the touchpad, okay, it's re it remains the same as uh, previous uh, models of the MSI Wind, except the MSI Wind U123. Um, I wish it would it was a little larger, and I wish that they would change this uh, single.